Hi, welcome to Greg's Base Shed. Today I'm going to be showing you the baseline from Tunnel of Love by Dire Straits. Grab the PDF in the link below this video and make sure you subscribe to Greg's Base Shed here on YouTube. I'm going to break the baseline down into seven sections. The intro, the verse, the chorus, the money for muscle section, the girl you look so pretty to me section, the breakdown section and then the ending. This is an epic song so make sure you have the PDF because the bass line is quite long. Um, in the PDF I've got the notated bass line all the way through and I also got tab as well if you need that. So you can get that following the link in the description below. First of all I'm going to play the intro for you. We start with a D, so a D on the A string, the fifth fret with our little finger, and then we've got D, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's a push there. One, two, three, four, one, two, and. So that comes on two and of the second bar or the second measure. So D, two, three, four, one, two, C, D, and then B flat, C, A, C, A. So you can play that all on the A string. So we've got D here, C, B flat, C, and then open A. And that's the first four bars of the intro. And then we've got So they're similar calls to the first four bars of the intro. So we've got a D minor. And this pattern here, You'll see that throughout the bass line. So we play the first note short, and then we accent the second note. So that's got an accent sign you'll see on the PDF. So, but, so that pattern's really iconic to the bass line. So make sure you, you phrase that right. So short, long, short, long. We'll just do it on the D. And again, if you look at the PDF, you'll see a short note or a staccato note, as it's sometimes called, has got a small dot above it. Uh, and that means play it short. So we've got short accent, short accent. So remember that when you're playing the bass line because it comes throughout the bass line. So for those second four bars of the intro, we've got D, D, C, A, and then down to F. So we play F the first, first fret of the E string. So D, D, C, A. C, C, D, D. So the only notes you need for this section are D again, C, A, B flat, and F. So the F is on the E string, all the rest are on the A string. So D, D, C, A, F, A, C, C, A, D, D, A, B flat, C, A, C, A. Okay, so try that second half of the intro with me. Three. So we've got a few muted notes or ghost notes as they're sometimes called there and to play those muted notes you don't let the notes ring out properly so so the first one we can see is in the, the fifth bar of the intro so we've got that muted note um, A at the end of the bar so that's written with a little cross on the note head. So instead of A, sort of play that, so. And we've got another one on the D. And that's something that John Isley does throughout the bass line. So he'll put these muted notes into different places. Um, so you can mess around and put them in where you want, really. Um, that's, that's all he's doing. And it gives a bit more funky um, sort of groove to the bass line. So that should give you enough to play through the intro. Now we look at the verse.
Now we've got verse 1 here and verse 2, and there's similar patterns, similar 8-bar patterns throughout, and throughout the song again, and there's just variations on this basic bass line. So I'll show you the basic bass line, um, and then you can look at all the variations as you go through the PDF. So we start on a D, got that rhythm again. So we've basically got D, F, C. So if you wanted to play a really basic version of the verse, to start with, you could just play D, F, C, C. the structure for all the verses we just add some extra notes so from the beginning of the verse D D and we've got muted note F and then we've got two muted notes F A C C C so C C G A C and I play that G the third fret of the E string and an open A and then we've got a muted E and this pick up to the G so try those first four bars of the verse with me slowly. Three, four, D, D, F, F, C, C. So that, and then we move up to the G, G. So that's F, G, G. So G, G, F, G, G. Back to D. So those last two measures are D, D, C, A, D, A, C, A, C, A. And then we move on to the second part of the first verse. nice that bit there so the first part the first four um, bars are almost similar to the beginning of the verse so we've got the D F C C and then G so that bar G G and then we go to the G octave G F back down to G so and that's G F D so, so we'll try that bit with me slowly. Three, four. Again. Again. Okay, and then back up to the D. That covers the first verse, and when we get onto the second verse. Um, it's the same harmony, the same chords, but we just go up to some, some higher notes. So, so that goes up to the high F instead of the low F. Um, I'll leave you to look at that on the PDF. Um, it's the same chords, as I said, just some slight variations on it. Um, now we'll move on to the chorus. starts on a B flat C F B flat so we've got a bar of B flat C F B flat and then C F F and you shift there so the first bit we played on the first three frets with our little finger. So for those last six bars, we've got D, B flat, C, D, D, F, C, D, B flat, C, A, C, A. So try 
Try the chords with me slowly. Three, four. And then we go on to the verse, and this is verse three. Now this verse three is a mixture of verse one and verse two. So the first eight are similar to verse one, and the next eight are similar to verse two. So have a read through that on the PDF. And then we've got the same chorus again, and then we've got money for muscle. This section starts on a G, so we've got G, F, B flat, A, G, F, B flat, A, G, F, B flat, B flat, and then C. So that bit is C. So this is an offbeat pattern. The, do 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 so C F G B flat B natural C so so play that with me three four C just do that round and round. The whole of money for muscle with me, three, four. And this section here is the girl you look so pretty to me section, so I'll play that for you first. Now this is 16 bars long, and if you look at the PDF you'll see that the first eight bars are really similar to the second eight bars. In fact, the only difference is in one bar we go from a C, G, but I'll show you that. So first of all we start on the first bar, F, up to high F, E, C, D, so E, C, D, so F. Play that with me. Three, four. F, E, C, D. B flat, A, C. F, C, B flat. Now we move on to the next eight of that Girl You Look So Pretty To Me section. And I've noticed actually there are a few extra notes that are different. So we've got F, and then E, F. So they've actually used fifths there for some of those bars, so D, A, so that's, that's D, A, 
that's the fifth of D, and then when we go C, G, so that's that's the fifth of the C. So they're adding some extra fifths in on that section. So that's the whole of that section for you. Now we'll move on to the breakdown, and I'll play that for you first. So this section has a lot of space in it. We've got F, A, C, A, C, A, D, D, B flat, A, B flat, A, C, C, F, F, C, F, C, B flat. And they're the offbeat patterns again. So try that with me and I'll count along in the gaps. Three, four, three, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so those last on, on the B flat there we've got the three, four, one. And then we go back to the beginning of the breakdown, and the second time round, if you look on the PDF, we go, we ignore the first time bar, which has got one above it, and we go to the second time bar, which has got a two above it. So that goes C, A, C, A. And then we move on to the last four bars of the breakdown, which is the same as the end of the chorus. So you know that already from the chorus. Then we have another verse, another chorus, and then we've got the searching through the carousel section and the girl you look so pretty for me section. Um, and these are lots of long slow notes. Um, so work your way through the PDF for those. And I don't really think you need me to show you those, um, but I'll show you the ending, which is an eight bar loop that goes round and round. So I'll play that for you first. So that starts on an F, F, E, D, G, C, A, B flat. So we've got a bar and a half of F, and then half a bar of E, bar and a half of D, half a bar of G, bar and a half of C, half a bar of A, bar and a half of B flat, half a bar of G. So try that with me. Three, four. E, D, G, C, A, B flat, G, again. Well, that is such an epic tune and hopefully I've given you enough there to go away and learn the bass line properly. But let me know if you get stuck with any of the bass line. Remember that you can comment below the video here on YouTube and I'd love to hear how you're getting on with the bass line um, and if you've got any questions please fire away. You can also subscribe to Greg's Bass Shed here on YouTube. I release a lesson every Friday and you can go over to my bass line which is gregsbassshed.com. I've got loads more bass videos, reviews, lessons and really useful base resources that you can see on my website. Um, I'll put all the links below in the description. Please like and share this video which really helps me out. This is Greff from Greg's Base Shed. I'll see you in the next lesson. <laughs>